And this wow. morning I had, uh, I had, today's been a big talking day. So if I start coughing, I'll tell you, I'm not, I don't have COVID. It's just, uh, no, not yet. But uh, if it happens, um, there's a secret cure for this, scotch. You can't go wrong. If I start coughing, um, scotch works. Kim, my lovely assistant here, will run off, grab me some scotch, and I will swill that down, and I won't cough anymore. <laughs> but in the interim, um, yeah, we we were really surprised. No one wanted to know anything about the BMW i3, but it was loaded with. I mean, they welded, um, they they did uh, aluminum die cast parts and welded them to extrusions. No one had ever done that before. The battery pack was really extraordinary. It was made so that you, if it wore out, you could pull out the battery out of your car and you could put it in your house. And uh, we thought that that was extraordinary. And uh, they, they did a lot of really, really cool things, except they didn't do a real good job on the styling, which was the most hideous of all cars ever. I cannot believe how ugly a BMW i3 is. Really? That's interesting. Because yeah. I don't think it is ugly. Uh, well, I... you and there's maybe a dozen others that think it's cute. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but not me. I thought it was hideous. You um, thought it was hideous. But uh, it didn't look like a BMW. And it didn't drive like a BMW. It didn't and I hated it, it when, the, uh, when, the, when the extended range little motor came on and scared the living daylights out of me. It would kick in yeah. and it was it was kind of it was it was weak right it was noisy it was weak and it didn't have the same amount of power kind of thing yeah so here's yeah. here's a little aside story because um not too many people know this but uh but anyway we had uh, ricardo in talk about a project and whatnot and one of the english guys came in and he said hey you're uh what do you think about the uh the the i3 that you're tearing apart i said eh, it's got a lot of good stuff i'm not I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say about the engine. He says, oh, well, we designed that engine. I said, really? What a pile of shit. <laughs> and we got into a big discussion. Apparently, he was the lead engineer on it. So, oh, um, no. okay. yeah, I said, why is it so noisy? What it, did you put, like, bolts in the top of the, the cylinder heads? Or, sorry, inside the combustion chamber to make that extra noise? And when I had no yeah. sense of humor. English guys <laughs> sometimes don't have any sense of humor. <laughs> But on on uh, on the electrical mode, it was pretty fun car to drive, right? It went fast. Yeah, I as remember... long as you as long as the extended range motor didn't kick in, it was a it was a, it was fun. But it was short range. I mean, short range. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, it was a tiny little battery, and it was a little motor, and it was a little car. Yeah, it was almost meant to not. We've always claimed that a car manufacturers don't make cars like electric cars ugly on purpose. And make them expensive, right? They sub out all this uh, work so that it's yeah. really expensive, so they can say like, "Hey, this we don't make money here. These are not, you know, this there's not viable cars that we can make because they don't really deep down they don't want to make them. Is is that no. a fair assessment? No, they don't want to. They they do not want to make them, and they don't put. I mean, they're not serious, so they don't put the right people on the job. Now, the BMW i3 had a lot of really good people, but they were um, crushed, I guess, uh, pushed into a corner and not given free range to do things. Uh, but, but like I said, there was plenty of really good ideas from a technology standpoint on that car and still is. And That's by the way, I don't know if you're aware of it, but if your viewers want to have a 54,000 page report, they can go to Monroe, um, uh, Monroe Live, YouTube, whatever. Anyways, there's a page and you can buy it for 10 bucks ah. because I lost so much money on that thing. <laughs> we just, uh, we're just, uh, we're selling it to people who want to know about, uh, you know, how, what, what is involved in one of these reports. So for 10 bucks, you can buy a 54,000 page thing. Um, Corey go. will, Corey, our president will uh, be happy to help you out, but it will oh. cost 10 whole dollars. So. $10. Wow. For 50,000 pages. Mm. So, so that means you went granular. I mean, you went down to how they, because that was a pretty crazy car. It had a carbon fiber, like unibody yep. kind of thing, right? Yeah. Uh, Everything's in there too. Every adhesive, every, wow. everything, everything about uh, how they do that. Plus there's videos in the, in the uh, appendix and all kinds of stuff. Wow. But like I said, 10 bucks, cash, cash money. 
Wow. So if any, although we will accept credit cards, credit cards, well. Bitcoin, you'll accept Ethereum. Bitcoin. Probably. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 